Hey, what's going on guys? Today I've got a four sprayer comparison that you're gonna wanna see. So going from this side, we had the Spraymate 2.5 gallon, the Ryobi 4 gallon, 18 volt, the Sprayers Plus 105EX, and then the four gallon My Four Sons. All right, so this video, I wanted to show the more budget friendly sprayers. These are gonna range from $130 up to about $230. And uh, they're the ones that a lot of people have been talking about. All right guys, so let's talk about wands. Not all wands are created equal. So let's show you each of the wands, show you the things that I like, things that I don't like. First up, we have the Spraymate 2.5 gallon. So the Spraymate comes with a plastic wand that allows you to put on different tips. So this is a T-Jet tip. This isn't one that came with any of these sprayers. It's one that I've used, uh, but it comes with a fan tip. And it also comes with this little tip that allows you to do a cone spray. It has a cruise control on it with this little switch here that allows you to lock it in and spray without having to hold down the handle. So that's the one for the Spraymate 2.5 gallon. All right, so moving on, we have the Ryobi 18 volt. The wand on the Ryobi 18 volt, again, is a plastic wand. It's uh, fairly flexible, so I'm not worried about it breaking. I've actually had where I've laid my sprayer down in my garage and uh, it's gotten stepped on and the wand has gotten broken before. So this is kind of, you know, it's kind of, kind of flimsy feeling but it's also probably kind of a good thing not to uh, get broken so it comes with some fan, a fan tip and it also comes with a cone tip so again similar similar handle construction has the cruise control on it right there so you don't have to hold the handle down uh, yeah, so that's the wand and handle assembly for the Ryobi. All right, so moving on, we have the Sprayers Plus 105 EX. It has a metal wand, same kind of feature. It has the cruise control right here. Comes with a cone tip and a fan tip. Of the three that I've shown so far, this one feels the most high quality. Feels really good in your hand, and uh, uh, just feels feels like a good uh, wand. So that's the Sprayers Plus 105EX. So last but not least is the My Four Sons, and the My Four Sons is a little bit different because they have a couple of different ways that you can buy this sprayer. The sprayer that I got is a uh, it comes with a bunch of extras and it's only like an extra $30. If you buy the base model, it comes with just this, which is the wand. Um, something cool about this wand that none of the other wands do, it's extendable. So if, uh, if you're doing some spot spraying or something, this would come in real handy for you to get right up close to the ground and spray the weeds. Or if you're spraying pest control or something and you're spraying up at your eaves, this would reach up to the eaves. Um, I really like this design. I like that. Um, the Solo sprayer that I love has a similar design. So good job, my four sons. This one comes with a fan tip, a cone tip, and every other kind of tip imaginable. You want two tips? They got you. Like a shower tip? Gotcha. There are so many tips, most of which you'll probably never use, but they give you tons of tips. So there you go. As it comes with this little gun, uh, not the highest quality feeling piece of equipment, but uh, it comes with it. I don't know, I haven't used it yet, so we'll see how it does, but uh, it does come with it. Also comes with this. It comes with like 
14 extra hoses. I think it's really only two, but it seems like a lot. Um, yeah, it's two. So it comes with a another hose that's the same length, I believe, as the hose that you would use with the backpack sprayer. It comes with an additional wand, and it comes with a extended hose. Like, really, really long. Like, super long. Um, so if you were using this to water your plants or something, you could set this down on the ground and use that extended hose. Uh, I don't know that I'll ever use it, but it has it. And for some people, that's a big deal. So there you go. Comes with all those extra goodies. So that's the wand and tip setup for each of the sprayers. All right, guys, so moving on to straps and retention. We got the Ryobi here. It's got padded straps. No pad on the back, uh, but the straps are adjustable from several points. Look at So pretty easily, you can adjust these straps to make it comfortable for you. There's a chest retention strap. Um, as far as comfort goes, it's comfortable. It's not the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my back, but it's not terrible. When it comes to your wand retention. Ryobi has retention here on top and retention here on the side. Um, neither of which are super easy to get to, um, but that doesn't matter that much. But yeah, so here, that's the Ryobi. All right, next up we got the My Four Sons. My Four Sons has some beefy straps on it. Um, lots of padding. Lots of little pockets. There's a little pocket for the retention of the wand. There's another little pocket on here. I don't know if that's for a drink or what, your cell phone or what. Um, it has chest ret retention as well. The straps are pretty comfortable. They're nice and wide, easy to adjust. Again, chest retention strap and the wand fairly easy to get to so yeah that is the my four sons next we have the sprayers plus 105 ex it has padded straps uh, several adjustment points for the straps and again, chest retention, easily adjustable straps. And the wand is retained on the top of the sprayer. It just fell off. But again, uh, the retention on top of a sprayer is not the easiest thing to get at, but it's not terrible. Um, you really only use it, I really only use it at least, when I first initially pick the sprayer up, I'm not actively storing and unstoring it while I'm spraying. So that's the Sprayers Plus straps and retention. Last but not least, we have the Spraymate 2.5 gallon. It has some nice padded straps. It has some padding on the back. And uh, again, chest retention the one thing that this has different is it has a nice place to store your wand so stores in there nice and easy clicks in like that straps are easy to adjust and with the Chest retention fits just fine. Honestly, this one might be the least comfortable of all of them. The back padding really isn't that comfortable to me. Um, but the retention is nice. Yeah, 
So there's that. All right guys, so the first test I've got lined up is how far you can spray on a pin stream with the highest setting on the sprayer. So I've set up tape measure here. I'm gonna show you just how far of a stream you can get so you can see how far you can spray for things like spraying the eaves or spraying up into trees or something like that if you're doing some pest control. Um, so I wanted to show that first. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so first up we've got the Sprayers Plus. Now something I just realized because I haven't used the Sprayers Plus yet is they have a little orange plug inside of there that prevents any water from coming through at first. So you need to take that off and put on this black filter. So do that before you can spray anything. So the Sprayers Plus sprayed about 27, 27 and a half feet with the pin stream on the cone nozzle. Not bad. All right guys, the next guy we have up is the My Four Sons with the pin stream on it. Uh, I have the wand extended and it turned all the way up to five, or all the way up on the dial. One thing I am noticing is the wand is leaking. So, I have it tight. Uh, maybe I need to put some, some uh, tape around it. I don't know if this is a common problem, but it's leaking for me right now. Uh, but, so we're gonna go ahead and spray it and uh, see if we can fix this for later testing. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and spray. Uh, So it looks like it sprayed out to about 27 feet as well. So again, not bad. Next up, we've got the Ryobi. Got the nice pin stream going here, and it is ready to go. The Ryobi sprayed out to about 26 feet. And finally, we have the spray mate with the cone slash pinstream tip ready to go. The spray mate actually sprayed the furthest with a tip of right at 30 feet. Not bad. All right, guys, so we've got the sprayer set up. It's time for the sprayer showdown. We are gonna see just how long the battery life for each of these sprayers is, how long they can spray, and uh, how many gallons they put out. All right, guys, so I have all these set up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cruise control on all of them and start the clock. So here we go. The clock has started, so let's go. So last time I did this sprayer video, I got a lot of crap because uh, instead of spraying them directly back into each of the uh, sprayers, I just had them spraying out. It was kind of a cool visual effect and whatnot but uh, I wasted a whole lot of water. So this time we're putting them right back into the sprayer. So better than uh, never, right? Guys, yeah, so we're about five minutes in and I, uh, I wanted to make sure I let you guys know all of the batteries were at fully charged when I started doing everything. So I've used them all the same amount and now we're using them until they die. So they're all fully charged. All right guys, so here we are about 30 minutes in. All four are continuing to run, no problem. I uh, anticipate we're gonna be here for a lot longer going off of what happened last time. So 
hang on. Hey. All right, guys, so we have crossed the one hour mark. Still going strong on the My Four Signs. Same with the spray mate. Sprayers Plus still going strong. And still going with the Ryobi. All of these are still going strong. Alright guys, so here we are. We find ourselves two hours in and all four sprayers are still going. I kind of want this to just be over, but they're all still going. They're all still spraying at the same power and intensity and PSI that they were spraying when we first started. So we'll continue to wait and see when they actually die. All right guys, we got an update. We have a dead sprayer at two hours and eight minutes. The Ryobi, pour one out for the Ryobi. The Ryobi is dead. Two hours and eight minutes. Good job, Ryobi. That is uh, pretty impressive for a little two amp hour battery. And just like that, at two hours and 15 minutes, the 105 EX, the Sprayers Plus, it is dead. So on to the next one. And right after the Sprayers Plus died, the Spray Mate died as well. Right around the 215 mark. So all that we have left going is the mighty My Four Sons. Guys, and one last thing I want to test real quick before we wrap this video up and talk about all the different sprayers and my thoughts is I want to test and see which of these sprayers will get the most out of it. Now, I know there are there's some sprayers on the market that don't get everything out of the tank. And if you mix up exactly a gallon and put in exactly the solution that you need for a gallon and it leaves you know 10 ounces 15 ounces in the bottom of the tank that's a, a significant amount of fluid that's not actually getting out there and product that you've put in there that's not going to actually go out so let's uh let's go ahead and check this out so first we're going to use the spray mate 2.5 gallon So as you can see, you guys, there's like hardly anything left in there. That's pretty dang good. All right, guys, so the My Four Sons, very similar situation to the Spray Mate. It got out almost everything. There's maybe an ounce of water that was left in that sprayer. Pretty darn good. All right, guys, so here's the Ryobi. So about an ounce, maybe, give or take. Not much at all. Final one we have, the 105EX. I couldn't get a single drop. <laughs> okay, maybe like one or two drops. Hardly anything out of the Sprayers Plus. We're at the three hour mark. It's starting to get dark. The, uh, the My Four Sons, guys, it's just got a freaking beast of a battery. So, if battery life is your number one priority, then my four sons, it seems to be the ticket out of these four sprayers. Let's talk about each of these sprayers real quick, and I'll tell you the things that I like, things that I don't like, give you my recommendations. The Ryobi comes in at $149, and for $149, I think it's a pretty good deal. The Ryobi performed really well in all of my testing. It got all of the liquid out of the tank it sprayed really consistently and it had with the two amp hour battery that comes with this unit it had a two hour battery life so pretty impressive one thing that i uh, that i'm not a huge fan of is the ryobi feels pretty cheap this wand is kind of cheap feeling the fit and finish is not great um it's uh it's just not the best quality I've ever seen. I think if you're invested in Ryobi tools, 
uh, and you want to get a battery backpack sprayer, it makes sense to get this unit. Works good. It will do everything that you need it to do. Moving on, we've got the spray mate coming in at $129. I think if you're really trying to save money, this, this unit right here, while it is small, it does everything that all of these other units do, and it does it pretty well. It had good solid battery life. It's got comfortable straps. It's got a decent wand. You know, it, it performed very well. It did everything that it needed to do. It doesn't have a battery that's easily swappable unless you already have flow zone batteries. I think, like I said, this does, did a really good job. And I think if you're somebody who's a small frame person who doesn't want to hoof around a full four gallon backpack, or you have a really small lawn, and you don't want to carry around a battery hand sprayer, this is a good solid option for you. All right, so they do make a four gallon version of this and it is only $149. If you wanted to go up to the four gallon version of this, uh, I, I don't think it would be a bad deal either. It's just gonna, obviously gonna be a little bit heavier. All right, so moving on to the next one, the My Four Sun Sprayer. This is the one that honestly surprised me the most. Because I'll be honest with you, when I took this out of the box, it felt really cheap. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of clunky feeling. It looks cheaply made. A lot of the parts are kind of, kind of weird and odd, but I've been really, really pleasantly surprised by this sprayer. It, uh, it performed great in the spray test. It performed great in the test where it emptied out almost everything out of the tank. And then obviously the battery test, you know, this thing's been spraying for three hours and I had to stop so I could finish filming this video, but it was, it didn't seem like it had missed a beat at all. So this thing, uh, you know, it's, it really surprised me. It's got some really quality parts. I feel like it's got the quick connect for the wand, which I think is cool. You can swap out for that gun. It's got a metal wand that's extendable. But there are a handful of things that if it was a sprayer that I was building, I would change. Number one being all of the extra crap that comes with it, all the tips, all the you know random odd things, get rid of it. You don't need it, just get rid of it. it instead of having all the extra you know tips and hoses and all that junk, have an inline pressure gauge to tell me what pressure I'm putting out. It has a, uh, a dial but on that dial, it's literally on or you know, all the way down at minimum or all the way up at maximum or somewhere in between. And you really don't know other, other than what the minimum and maximum PSI is. So if I had a pressure gauge telling me what PSI was coming out of it, that would be awesome. Also a fuel gauge for the battery would be pretty cool too. Not a huge deal because the battery life is great, but a, uh, a fuel gauge would be nice. So for the, the 230 bucks that this sprayer costs, I honestly, I would recommend it. I think it's a good sprayer. Now, I don't know about the long-term use, about how good it's gonna last, but from, what, from my experience here and the people that I've talked to that have used it, they've said that these sprayers spray extremely well and uh, they have really good customer service. I was able to fix this uh, this connection to where it wasn't leaking either. So once I fix that, no issues with it. All right, last but not least, we have the Sprayers Plus 105 EX. Now this one is my, uh, it's my favorite when it comes to feel of the sprayer. And I'll tell you why. This sprayer, it's, uh, it's 230 bucks, the same as the My Four Sons. And uh, it just feels quality. You know, there's not a lot of bells and whistles to it. You don't get a dial to change the PSI. It's literally on or off, but the feel and the fit and finish of this uh, sprayer is great. The wand feels good. The hoses seem like they're good quality. The, uh, the sprayer, you know, I mean, it lasted for two hours. The uh, top screws on and off real easy. The battery has a fuel gauge on it, it, it and it seems like a good quality battery. And, uh, and it did well in every category that I tested. I don't think any of these were really bad options. They all performed really well, honestly. I was thinking that there might be a turd out of one of the four of these, but from what I'm seeing, there isn't. 
they're all good quality sprayers that will last you for a long time. All right guys, so that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure if you liked what I did to hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, ring the bell, all the YouTube jazz. I love you, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye. All right guys, it is after 11 o'clock at night. It has been six hours and 14 minutes. And uh, this thing is still going. It's pretty much dead now. It was spraying like normal up until about a minute ago. Oh, and it died. Over six hours that the uh, my four sons sprayed. That's pretty freaking impressive. Congratulations, my four sons. You are the battery champion.